Okay, we're going to do a demo of a grid painting based on an inspiration from a shade, uh, an artist in Hawaii. Uh, she's a teacher and uh, uh, also in my online class to study freestyle painting. She's uh, specialized in gongli or elaborated style originally, um, but she also uh, become very good spontaneous style painter. Um, I use a red star shen. It's an unsized or absorbent, you may call it smearing paper. Um, for freestyle, it's, uh, it's the best paper. And uh, the four sheet comes in, uh, like a 27 by 55 or 57. So we cut into three pieces. This is a one third. So you cut out from the, uh, the sheet and then you cut horizontally uh, into two strips. So this is the size, it's good for a scroll or a panel. I have some inspiration from uh, my backyard, some great leaves here. Uh, I use that uh, as an inspiration for composition, and I will start from the leaf. We can use a little color maybe, because of the colors here. I use a super wash brush. Soap the brush first. And I load with uh, some olive, olive green, yellow, whatever color I have left here. Some uh, orange color, some red. I'm trying to do that, and I, of course, we had to use ink in Chinese painting. You cannot really reproduce a, a masterpiece. Even the master herself cannot do it. So just learn the idea, not the traces. Just add some water. You, know, you can see where I started and then proceed. more water. Don't have to come through all the strokes, just the, uh, the blocks. And then I change, uh, you can use the same brush all the way if you want. Many art artists do that, but I like to save the color just in case I need more leaves. I use a different brush, a stiff hair, wolf hair brush for the chunk. You can use a little brown if you want. Or red. Just to give a little hint. Then the this is the starting. Every artist has a voice. You cannot really reproduce. Um, it's like a singer. So in Chinese painting, we try to develop our own voice.
sometimes I have to close my eye, just let it go. <laughs> you, when you uh, try to lose, don't see it. Outside the frame. Okay, now um, let's add some grapes. Now we use some uh, leftover color here. I got huge and uh, indigo. Mix with the uh, huge to get the uh, purple. You can also use ready made purple. I like to, to mix them. So you got some, uh, you don't have to mix too well. Some red, some blue, it's okay. I, uh, I will try to make a little different than the Chibaishi style so we can leave a, a highlight uh, in the fruit. Let's see if I can get it. Zoom in a little bit. Use a reverse gradation. I use uh, color to load the entire brush with a purple. Then I squeeze out some color on the tip and then add water. You, you, you see the, the effect, it has a nice tonal change and this paper it keeps uh, the strokes separate Should be too blue. Let me add some more red to it. I forgot adding water. So it good to have some water to leave the highlight on top. This is the main groove, the second groove should be less. And this also uh, has a dense and sparse contrast. This is the sparse part. So you don't have to do it to so dense. a little water each time. Maybe two after each two strokes add more. This lighter groove. This is a tip single, so uh, maybe one make it a uh, group. Right. 
So this last group, uh, actually there are two more groups. This is the lighter group behind the, the lines. It looks like they're falling on the ground too heavy or something. Oops, I tried to pivot it around. You have to twist the brush like that. Or you can make it up. Okay, I uh, just draw this uh, stance. We can use light. Suggestively, ideal companies with the uh, absence of stroke. This one goes uh, from this group here. Start. This one should be very suggestive. And we'll just dot the ends. Now, finally, uh, don't forget the veins on the leaf. You can use a smaller brush if you want. Now, to keep the line thin, uh, this is to not destroy the effect we have uh, with the, the ink base. It's different than Qi Bai uh, mm -hmm. thick lines. see the, the vine, the, the secondary vines thinner. So we just emphasize on the primary ones. The vine not, uh, actually the grape has a kind of squash. Uh, so the vine could be relatively straight. Or they want like a peony, you know, you can draw more straight lines. You can redefine this shape. You can
still each stroke has a uh, start and a finishing uh, in different pressure. So there's a dot, a pause in the beginning or the end to start the stroke and finish the stroke. Even on the dark, uh, you can you can uh, you still have to draw the the veins. If on the very dark one, uh, you can use water to draw white lines. But this has to be really dark to show. I think you can see that. Yeah, so that's how I do it uh, on dark leaves. You don't have to add the darker ones, so you can just use the uh, water. This is a red star shrimp. Okay, um, let me see the overall composition. We can add a little small leaf on this side to break this. This side it has no leaves, right? Let me little dark essence. It's kind of too flat somehow. Okay, now just a Uh, do you know there's a, a Bible song like a, like a branch in the vine? Okay. To the one. I, I write that title. Like a branch in the vine. Okay. Like wine in the uh, in the grape tree. That's Chinese translation. I uh, write the year, the season, summer, uh, year of uh, goat. And my Chinese name, Xiao Hui. In LA, Los Angeles, okay. That's beautiful. Thank you. And uh, I'll put my seal. That's my complete, uh, uh, I will say, uh, mimic <laughs> of 
of uh, Shea's uh, original painting in my online class. I hope you got uh, some inspiration to do yours. i see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.